This is One Minute with Cameron. It was black pepper primarily that inspired most of man's great exploration of the Middle Ages, including the discovery of America. Black pepper started America's trade with Asia and played an important role in the early days of the United States. When Columbus dropped anchor in the New World in search of spices, he made at least two mistakes. Thinking he was in India, he called Native Americans Indians. He also named chilies mistakenly as peppers, thinking they were related to black pepper. The family of chili pepper is called capsicum and are not related to black pepper. Peter Martyr, who came to America with Columbus in 1493, wrote, There are numerous kinds of peppers. Some are red, some yellow, some violet, some brown, and some white. In southern Mexico and the Yucatan Peninsula, capsicums have been part of the human diet as far back as 7500 BC, and its use predates the two great Central American civilizations, the Mayans and the Aztecs. Chilies had many uses. In the pre-Columbian tribes of Panama, the shaman used capsicum peppers in combination with cacao to enter into trance and travel to the heavens. Another interesting story is about one of the first colonial American in Boston who took an active part in spice trading in 1672. His name was Elihu Yale, and he later gave his last name and wealth to the renowned Yale University. He arrived in Madras, India as a clerk of the British East India Company, and there he established contact and built his fortune in spices. So inside a small peppercorn, you will find the story of the founding of a great nation. Small things are important and we should pay attention to them as inherent in them, you may find a powerful potential. Finally, to hear more about this and other topics, go to any podcast app and search Wow with Cameron.